The first thing I want to do is debunk a myth. You know how everyone says that everything is always bigger in Texas? Well, not this time. Not this time. Parada Lagoon in San Antonio, Florida is the largest man-made lagoon in the U.S., coming in at an incredible 15 acres. Third lagoon to open here in the Tampa Bay area. And if you're thinking about moving to Tampa Bay and wondering if a lagoon community is right for you, then you're going to want to save this video. Maybe you're wondering, Juan, what the heck is a lagoon? A lagoon! The lagoon is my favorite! <laughs> Don't worry, this video is for you too. Today, you're going to get to explore the entire Marotta community. We're going to take you everywhere, literally give you a bird's eye view. We'll even give you an exclusive look inside of two beautiful homes in the community, one of them at about the $550,000 price point and the other one coming just shy of a million dollars. Million dollars? I'll cover all the things you need to know about living here in Murata. The types of homes and styles you can expect to find, the builders, lot sizes, drive times, shopping, amenities, schools, HOA and CDD fees. We'll also talk about the cost of living, the pros and cons, and the overall quality of life here in the greater Tampa Bay area. So stop scouring the internet trying to put the puzzle pieces together. Grab a bowl of popcorn and a cold drink. Popcorn? Settle into your favorite chair and let's explore what it's like living the lagoon life. First thing I want to do is talk about why people love living in these lagoon communities so much and why they're so dang popular. I mean, over the last two years, we've taken a ton of phone calls about people who want to live in these communities, South Shore Bay down in Waimama, and most notably Epperson and Wesley Chapel, which is just eight miles to the south here. But now with Murata Lagoon opening up, there is another humongous option, literally. And it all starts with the amenities. The lagoon is open year round. It literally has its own sandy beach. You can swim, kayak, paddleboard. There is a giant slide. There is an obstacle course, a swim up bar. They do live events, including music. Currently, the lagoons are semi-private. They do sell a portion of the tickets to the public. That really helps keep the cost lower for you as a resident. And they do host resident and public events throughout the year. Now, when you live in the community, you are gonna have access to exclusive events. And we're gonna cover those in detail when we discuss the fees. And yes, there are fees. But personally, I think they are really fair for what you get in return. On top of the massive 15 acre lagoon that already comes with your community, there is also a resort style pool, pickleball, tennis, and bocce ball courts, a playground for the kiddos, an off-leash dog park, miles of extra wide walking and bike trails, and there's even a dedicated golf cart path for those of you who like to ride around in style. Murata's just 30 minutes north of downtown Tampa and is just seven minutes away from I-75. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away from Disney World in Orlando. And if you wanted to head over to a beach in the Gulf of Mexico for a day, the closest beach is Hudson Beach. Now, in my opinion, it's not necessarily the greatest beach. If I was gonna take my friends or family or even myself to a, a proper beach from San Antonio, I would probably go to Honeymoon Island State Park down in Dunedin, or Clearwater is about an hour and a half drive. And let's be honest, one of the main reasons you would choose to live in Murata is because you already have an incredible beach in your backyard. It's in the backyard. So let's talk about shopping. One of the first questions we always get is how far do I have to drive to get my groceries? Well, I drove three minutes from the lagoon and now I'm standing at the market at Murata and you can see behind me a brand new beautiful Publix. They've just put this up here, it's stunning. There's actually a second floor upstairs where you can go up and there's tables. That way, if you're gonna buy anything from the pub, you get a pub sub or you get chicken tenders or whatever in the deli there, you can take it upstairs and eat, which is actually pretty cool. Makes things super convenient. And then you've got a nail salon, Publix liquor. For the state of Florida, they can't sell hard liquor inside of a grocery store anywhere where you have food. But you got a great clips back there. There's an emergency room, UPS store, AT&T store, the Hungry Greek, so you can get some breakfast or, you know, diner style. There's also a pet store over there. And then behind me on the other corner, this way you've got a Japanese hibachi restaurant over there and there's a dentist office right there as well. Also just a short drive down the road we're talking about 15 minutes you've got the Grove at Wesley Chapel you got the crate at Wesley Chapel that place is incredible I mean they got the big box retailers down there like Best Buy, TJ Maxx, Ross huge stores but they also have this, this small village area where there's a lot of local shops and services there check that out and then the crate which is like 
92 shipping containers. Right now there's over 42 different retailers there between dining, shopping, and uh, services. And then if you jump down to Tampa Premium Outlets, I mean, there's hundreds of retailers over there. Kate Spade, Nike, everybody you could ever think of is down in that area as well. And that's just another five minutes to the south. And then you can go over to the shops at Wiregrass, which is a beautiful outdoor mall. You got Macy's, JC Penney's. Um, again, all the shops you could ever ask for. That place is really cool. It's dog friendly when you walk them in there. You can't take the dogs in the shop, but the actual mall itself is outdoor and you can take the dogs down there. So I think it's a really cool area. Area, lots of shopping. You are spoiled rotten. Within 15 minutes of Murata, you have access to everything. And oh, down by Tampa Premium Outlets, there is Costco down there. There's Target down there. So you've got everything you need. There's an Aldi there as well. So if you're not a public shopper, you got access to those two. Lots and lots of shopping more than you could ever ask for. So many shops, so little time. <laughs> Let's talk about who's building homes here in Murata. And be sure to stick around because after we discuss all of these details, me and Stacy are gonna give you an exclusive tour of a couple of these beautiful homes. One of them is my all-time favorite floor plan and the other one has an incredible feature for multi-generational families. Right now, you've got DR Horton, Lennar, Maronda Homes, LGI Homes, Homes by West Bay, and Biscayne Homes. A couple of the builders have already sold out of phase one and will not be selling in phase two. That's LGI and Maronda. It's totally sold out. But trust me, there's still a ton of great options here. Currently, prices start in the mid 300s for townhomes, villas, and single family homes. You can find single family homes that are one or two story. And they're also one of the first communities in Tampa Bay to offer multi-generational homes as well. At the time of this recording, single family homes start in the mid 300s and go all the way to the high 600s, depending on which builder you choose. And prices can reach over a million dollars depending on which upgrades, options, and finishes you choose, including lot premiums. And speaking of lots, not every lot has an additional lot fees, but most do, and they can reach as high as $80,000. Almost all the properties include a poured concrete patio, landscaping, and a sprinkler system. Most of them will not come with the pool or even build one for you, even though you're gonna see them in the model homes. Yeah, but no pool house. That is subject to change, of course, based upon demand, but I wouldn't expect it. And if you are considering buying a pool, prices can be all over the place. But if you do want a pool, especially one that's decent sized with a spa, a water feature, surround, an outdoor kitchen area, and a covered lanai, you can expect to spend well over $100,000 to get that done. And yes, you may be able to do it for less, but this is the type of outdoor space you should expect to find in the area. And if you cheap out here, when you go to sell your home later, it's gonna be very difficult. Difficult, very difficult. All right, so we're checking out DR Horton. That's where we're gonna start our day here. And Stacy, what model is this going this to be? This is the Camden. This is the Camden model. All right, yep. so let's, let's go check this bag. Boy out. Come on in. So you enter into this beautiful foyer. It's you have a nine and a half foot ceilings and you get the tray ceiling. So in the front of the house you have uh, two bedrooms. But that leads us to a Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill bathroom, which I love uh, this setup. There's no arguing over who gets into the bathroom first. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, now that leads us back out to the foyer in the, in the main hallway. So just show you guys back down towards the entryway here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna turn this around. So you got your half bath over here. And then this is your entrance into the garage. And this is a huge, huge laundry room. This is massive. So you have plenty of room to spread out, sort your laundry. If you yeah. wait and do it all in one day like I do, you need tons of yep. space. Wash sink. Yeah. And then that's going to be an air conditioning unit behind there, just right. to show you. Whenever you see these louver doors, you can almost guarantee <laughs> that's what it is. Yep. Yep. And then the air conditioner is inside the house. Yep. It's not in the attic. So for those of you wondering here in Florida, um, they put them in the house, not in the attic. Yep. And you want that, trust me. And then this is a really cool space. It's a unique floor plan because you actually have uh, a multi-generational space mm -hmm. or in-law suite or some place to stuff your visitors yep. and here's, <laughs> when they come and stay for a couple of weeks. That's right. And you can see right now all of the, uh, the different finishes you can get in the home here. Um, but Stacy's right. You know, we moved down here four and a half years ago and inevitably everyone wants to come stay with us, which we're, we're blessed. I love it. Yeah. I would yeah, have yeah. loved to have a home with a three car garage with a, with an entry where somebody can come in and have their own guest suite, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is really better nice. than any, um, hotel, hotel. situation that yeah. I've been at. You know, you've got the kitchenette, 
um, refrigerator, obviously. And then this is a not a small living space here. Like, I don't know what the, the room size is here, but it's probably at least 15 by 13. Yeah, um, we definitely have room for a, like a love seat and a TV, yep. a little small and entertainment center. And wait till you check out this bedroom now. The Huge. monster closet. Yeah. So um, this isn't for someone just staying for a night or two. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have to move, you know, if you're in one of those situations where you, you're, and you, you take care of your parents yes. or, you know, maybe you've decided as a family, it's the best option for you guys, a multi-generational home. So yeah, so you walk back out to the main living space. Which is, again, I like so open yeah it, it, but you still get a sense of the rooms are different mm -hmm. and that's that's tough to accomplish but i really do feel like they've done a really nice job with that then you have the pocket doors uh that lead out into the covered lanai which is nice to have in florida nice to have some shade that takes us over into the kitchen where this is the heart of the home right yep. but you also have really nice appliances you get the microwave uh, the stove and dishwasher with this series you do not get the refrigerator at least not right now that moves us into a really nice kitchen nook yeah, very nice good. size kitchen nook this is a good spot I, I like how this is set up again you can see right outside onto the covered lanai which i'll show you here in a second but it's also not small this is the master suite and it's in the back of the house it's a really nice size you also have the tray ceilings and then that takes us into the master bath yep you have a very nice size master bath you get the garden tub a stand-up shower double sinks granite same as the multi-generational suite, same as the half bathrooms, all right. the bathrooms, all three and a half baths have the exact same thing. And we'll take you back towards the front here. But um, before we check out of this property, Stacy, we're gonna head over to Homes by West Bay next and check mm -hmm. out some different price points, right? So the price right. point here starts at where? Um, uh, you're looking at high fours. Um, this model here starts, I think, mid fives. Okay. Mid five. Yeah. Um, there's a coral model next door. Dr. Horton has offerings from the you know high fours on the low end right currently, yes. um, up into what's the high point the stretches? I think a high fives, yeah. maybe even into the sixes. I mean they have 14 floor plans, so oh, wow. they have tons of options for you. Um, they only have a few floor plans that have the three car garage. Most of them are two, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they have lots of options for you. It's yeah, really and nice. we've had more than a few clients buy dr horton yeah. homes now and they've been really satisfied with the product that they've gotten so you know one of the things we always tell our clients to do is do research Correct. right and yes. that can be a little bit challenging because you see good bad ugly all the things in between but from our mm -hmm. experience our clients that have purchased dr homes uh, dr horton homes have really enjoyed the product yeah. so far they seem to hold up really well they do a good job on the service end and they deliver pretty timely yes they do <laughs> yeah. which is not easy to do so for those of you that know and roughly if someone breaks ground right now they're telling us it's going to be I think, what six to eight yeah six to eight months yes. subject to change you know availability right. weather. products weather those things yeah. there's a lot that goes into that but i think it's something to take note of also lot sizes here you know this property specifically has one of the largest i think it has the largest lot size in yeah. Yeah, in Murata. So um, in Murata as a whole, we find lot sizes at 60, 50, and, and, and what else? And 40. Yeah. Yeah. So this home sits on a, on a 60. So mm -hmm. it's a really nice spot, but yep. check it out on the way out. But I can't wait to spend the rest of the day with, with you guys here in Murata. We've got a ton planned for you. So we're going to head over to Homes by West Bay now and check those yes. out. So we've made our way over to Homes by West Bay, and yes. I'm pretty excited because this is probably my favorite floor plan in all of Tampa Bay. Um, sure. Stacy, what are we going to see? We're going to see the Biscayne 2. Yeah, look at the stunning wow. foyer. It is incredible. The 12 foot ceilings. Right in the front of the house. We have the first bedroom, which is a really nice size bedroom. We got a full bed, two nightstands on the side. Yep. We got a closet. And then this is the full bath. Gorgeous awesome. black tile. It's gorgeous. Yes. And you tile get from floor to ceiling. And that's going to be a big difference between a builder like DR Horton, which we just saw, which is a production builder. They do a really nice job. 
and uh, Homes by West Bay, which technically is a production builder also, but what, you know, for me, the way that we explain it to the clients and the way that Stacy and I would look at it is this is semi-custom. Correct. Right, because yeah. you can order a lot in this house, which builders like DR Horton don't necessarily allow you to do. Right. Um, not a good or bad thing, just understand you pay for the differences. Correct. Right. And uh, they said they have a very large design center. They have a den or a flex room right um, at the front of the house, mm -hmm. which is a really nice flex room for an office, playroom. Nice. Is this a linen closet? It is. And that's very nice. Let me get out of the way here so y'all can I see I look it. at these shelves. Oh, yeah, nice. These are standard. They, I know in the- <gasps> Found something else standard? Yeah, we were lied to. I know, right? <laughs> these are standard. <laughs> According the, to the website. Those are standard. So let's, <laughs> let's head upstairs. And yes. um, this is an option. So everybody knows here, the Biscayne 2, this model that we're in now, um, and I'll give you guys a sneak peek here. Um, the Biscayne 2, this model, uh, if you have the second story, it is a Biscayne 2. If you don't have the second story, it's just a Biscayne. Correct. Right? Just. I say just. that. This is a really cool yeah. space. I think this is really cool wow. too. So they've got this set up as a media room, mm -hmm. which this could be an additional bedroom if you want it to be a uh, second suite, if you wanted to do sure. that as well, which is also nice. But this space is not small, you know. So, mm -hmm. I mean, again, you got enough room for table and chairs. They've got table over there and that leads back over across huge tv that's probably 60 inches yeah i mean teenagers um, would love this space yeah yeah and parents would love to have this space <laughs> <laughs> let's let's be honest right so you got the wine fridge there or beverage refrigerator another uh wet bar here as well which i think is a nice okay, touch this would not be good for teenagers no <laughs> it'd have to be one or the water water <laughs> the water in there. And then, and then you have another very full nice bath. full bath. And then here is another bedroom or an office. Yeah. And this would be my office for sure. I love how it's set up. This one's overlooking the lake behind us here. Get you guys a sneak peek. So let's head back downstairs. This is the reason that people just absolutely love this house. And when you walk into this space, it is so grand and just wow. Cool. Oh, I look at those pocket doors. I mean, it's wall to wall. It is wall to wall. It's so gorgeous. Amazing. So, so gorgeous. let's talk about the dining space. We'll start here. Um, this is a, that's roughly a seven foot table, just for mm -hmm. perspective. Uh, you got enough room to seat eight comfortably here. Yep. Um, get around. These are humongous chairs, by the way. So yes. for anybody wondering, those are not tiny. I love the, the tray ceilings mm -hmm. here as well. Coffered is what they're referred to when they're set up like that. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice touch. Um, some people um, love them. Some people don't necessarily love them, but I, I'm a big fan. These are actually two full couches. What I love is there's power. So that's where like people see rooms like this and like, what the hell? Oh, yeah. Um, there's, there's actually power in the floor um, hiding behind there. That so you can have things. a council table. Yeah. yeah, and do some other things too, but really nice touch there. And again, so the nice. space is big and the thing I've noticed in here is it's, it's not the way that they have furnished it and the, the way it's finished and even having the coffered ceilings, you don't get as much reverberation from your voice because you would think in big spaces like this, right. it's like, what the heck, right? But like, right. Yeah. it's not. It's not like you're in a big, giant, empty space, yeah. which is really nice. This is so cool, I think, because they have the casual dining off to your yeah. island, which is really unique. It really um, is. But I think that's awesome. And the same finishes here Very too. So this is quartz. Yeah. It's really yep. gorgeous. You've, you've actually got power hiding under there. I'll show you all here in a second. Um, again. I love this view, and I'm gonna show you guys here in yes. a second. Um, your garbage, both cans are here. You can have garbage and recycling there, but I love that as well. Again, soft clothes, does its thing. And, and I you love this, the sink. Yeah, the gorgeous thing. Yep. Yeah, really nice. I mean, look at this view, y'all. This is what you're staring at. Kids, family, 
everybody just doing their thing. And then we're going to take you out there momentarily. So, so <laughs> yeah. bear with us, we'll get there. But nice matte finish too. Um, for anybody who's had stainless appliances, we all know the battle, especially if you have children where they just have fingerprints. <laughs> Yes. And you use everything from vinegar to uh, Windex and all the things and to try to keep the them that way. Marks. Yes. yes. And it still stays that way. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, Stacy. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Look at this spice rack. So good size pantry as well. Mm -hmm. Nice shelves. Mm -hmm. Notice they're not the wire shelves. It's like, like a real bakery. All right, check that out, y'all. That's Those really are nice. for all you fancy cookers, bakers. Mixed. Make some Chefs. cookies, some yeah. croissants, whatever, you know, things to keep my belly large. <laughs> That's basically what's happening there. Yep. And then I'm a, I love gorgeous. this finish. Y'all yeah. like, check so this gorgeous. out. Like, here, let me show you something. Little fingerprints. <laughs> That's so, <laughs> that makes me so happy. That makes my heart full. I don't know about you guys, but it absolutely makes my heart full. So before we head out to this gorgeous outdoor space, we do have one last room that we want to show you guys. So let's go check out the master suite. Stacey, why we're, why we're digging into the numbers a little bit, um, what is the starting price on, on Homes by West Bay here in Marada? Starting price is going to be the mid 600s, mm -hmm. and that's starting. So you still have your lot premium, and of course, when you go to the design center, you're going to spend some money. So we asked <laughs> yes. for you guys, we asked ahead of time to find out what the average client is spending in upgrades. And what was her number? 120. So they're spending around $120,000 on top of the starting from price. Prices are always subject to change, but man, mm -hmm. let's get into this thing. It's massive. So gorgeous. Gorgeous window. Look at all the windows. Yep. So bright. Coffered ceilings again. Mm -hmm. This You have your own entryway to the lanai and to the pool. Yes. Which I think is awesome. Big fan yes. of that. And this house is buttoned up. It's all block construction. So let's talk about the closets because that's what everybody wants to know. Yes, love the closets. Mm -hmm. They have his and her closets. Or so hers, ladies. hers and hers as we discuss the closets upstairs belong to her as well. So I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about yours. you guys. Yep. Maybe I'm living in an alternate <laughs> universe, but. And this would be? Oh, this is his. His. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know that because it's smaller. That's how you know that. Right. For those of you who haven't been educated, welcome to the party. I like but, how much room you have, you know, above yeah, too. They're good space. Yeah. yeah. Throw some storage. There's plenty of storage there. in this house. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with that by Look any stretch of the imagination. Luxury bathroom is so oh, nice. Wow. Check this Isn't out. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. I love how they did this around the window to give you extra storage. Yeah, absolutely. It's very nice. And then like the drive through shower. Mm -hmm. Walk in shower. Wow. Waterfall. And look, I'm just loving this. Yep. A lot of builders are putting the master in uh, the master closets in the bathroom, but here they're on the way to it. I think that that's interesting. Yeah. This is matte black finish, just like the kitchen, but this is like a glossy black tile. And you've got this great seating area here for those of you who need to sit down while you're in the shower. I don't know who that is. It's not me, but like I'm sure someone does, and that's why they built it that way. But um, what hey, a if you got to shave your legs, then. <laughs> beautiful space. You know. Yeah, I love that. And again, all the soft clothes, they didn't cheat anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the times they'll max out in the kitchens and you know, right. with homes and cheat everywhere else, but you've got the same fit and finish all the way through the home. Something I really love about Homes by West Bay, just gorgeous. Nice linen closet. Great linen closet. I don't know if you noticed too, you have the option of getting the extra towel storage there, which is really nice. Yeah, for those of you who really like feeling like you're in a spa all day, that's yeah, really nice. I do. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. And you have your... And the water closet, of course. Water closet. I don't know who came up with that fancy term. I know, I think that's a weird term. Well, outhouse wasn't available, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I went that direction. Now we're gonna go out to one of the coolest spots. And y'all, just let's get a sense for the size of these doors again. So those doors are at least nine foot tall. So gorgeous. All light coming in the house here. And that's what adds to the, to the feel of how big the space is, yeah. how spacious it feels, how bright and airy it feels. And it just feels like, light and yeah. I, I love that well, big thing. and can you imagine if you're having a party at, not in the summertime of course right. but in the winter or spring you can open these up and it would be so nice yes and then you're going to come out here to this unbelievable lanai and outdoor space and man it is incredible out here y'all wow it's enormous you've got a full table here you can put six adults in 
Um, again, that's the entry to the master as well. So you've got yeah. your own entry space, which is wonderful. Um, you don't want to disrupt anybody or you just want more convenient opportunity. And then over here, they've got another sitting area, as you can see. You got pavers, which is the way to go, y'all. Don't get concrete. It's a mess. It ends up breaking down mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't drain well either, which is a whole other um, conversation to be had for sure. And then gorgeous space here, steps down into the pool. Pools do not come with properties. So that is something I want to talk about because um, we get asked this a ton, Stacey, yes, right? Yes, we do. They always ask to say, well, I want a house with a pool, a new construction. Well, you can, you can buy the home, but you're going to have to hire the pool builder. Um, it, it occasionally, if they're trying to move houses or something happens, they will. This home will come with a pool because it is the model. Right. But Homes by West Bay is not offering pools as an option. They sub that out to another uh, another uh, company, and then they're going to come in after you take possession of that property. Right. So just yeah. to just to give you guys a heads up, because they're not going to allow someone to uh, slow down the process, right. which they're saying is taking right about how long right now to, to finish? Eight to nine months. Yep. Yeah. Eight to nine months is what you should expect. But this is a great, great pool here. This is a, a good um, example of what a Tampa pool looks like, mm -hmm. right? Or yes. what you should expect to find in the area. So you've got a spa. Yep, right? the spa and the waterfall. Yep, the water feature there. Um, this one looks like it might be salt. I'm not quite sure, but um, great area here. Not too big. This is normal. We've been seeing a lot more of this recently where they're pushing the pool all the way back to the, to the end of the screen. Yes. The covered lanai here is a huge win, y'all. The thing about mm -hmm. Florida you don't know, this really helps cut down on uh, UV so you can be out here longer. It definitely keeps the bugs down. Um, it makes it more comfortable and inviting. And during the winter especially, can you imagine, Stacy? Living here in March and the all eight I doors are wide open. Be gorgeous. You, you got an additional probably 400 square foot of living space out here. I know it'd be so much fun. Just absolutely stunning, y'all. Yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys a different angle on this too. And did we note that the uh, roofs are tile? Yeah. Roofs. So you got the terracotta roofs here, which yeah. are, are stunning as well. They last way longer than asphalt roofs. Um, Asphalt. Let me make sure I say that properly. I'll um, get comments <laughs> down below, uh, <laughs> and that's okay. You can let us know when we say yeah. something wrong. We're not. We're not afraid of that. And but. the uh, driveways are the paver driveways. Yep. So, so paved driveways nice. here as well. Makes I sense. love this property. As you can see, there's more lights that we didn't even turn on today. Um, but man, I love homes like this. So you know, when it, when you're looking at Murata, you know, we've shown you a couple examples today, and. I really enjoyed, you know, taking the tour here. We still got so much more to show you guys in the community. We're gonna get deeper into the numbers, but she did talk about some things. So we want you to be aware of some of the fees. Now I'm gonna get into something that almost no one talks about ever because they only talk about the good things. We're gonna talk about the fees that you have to pay in order to live in Murata. I don't know about you, but my mom used to always say, Juan, ain't nothing in life free. No, 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 nothing's for free. And in order to get all these beautiful amenities, you're gonna have to pay a one-time initiation fee. You're gonna have to pay a monthly lagoon fee. You're gonna to have to pay your HOA fees and you're also gonna to have to pay CDD fee. The monthly lagoon fee is $35 plus tax, right around 41 bucks. And then that gives you access year round to the lagoon and these member benefits. Resident only activities and entertainment. You'll get discounts on the private party spaces, complimentary chase loungers in the resident beach area, a supply of free guest passes and discounts on other guest passes. You'll get discounts on the rentals like the kayaks and the paddle boards along with discounts on food and drinks. And you get discounted tickets to Epperson Lagoon and South Shore Bay, along with the upcoming Angeline and the Sea Air. The current HOA for Murata is $114. That also includes internet and cable. That's something that's really cool. Most people I know who are buying cable already and internet are already paying well over $100. So to get that is fantastic. And it comes with super fast internet. They have their what they're calling UltraFi in the community there, which is 500 megabytes up and 500 megabytes down. I know I'm nerding out right now, but listen, if you have a family full of streamers, it's important to have really high speed internet and they do. You also have the ability for an additional $60 to, to purchase another 500 megabytes per second, getting you to one gigabyte of speed up and down, which is really cool. That's super fast, y'all. It's what I have here, it's incredible. Now we're gonna talk about CDD fees. This is Community Development District. And these fees are paid annually 
with your taxes, they go towards repaying a bond and for the maintenance of the community. They're separate from your HOA. Yes, this is a separate fee, and they do vary depending on what type of property you buy, whether it's a single family, villa, or a townhome, and the size of the lot. So this is gonna be community specific. I'm not gonna quote these numbers right now, but they are part of the fees that you have here. Now, you also have the one-time initiation fee. This fee is gonna range based upon what type of property you buy. If you buy a townhome, it's gonna to be the least expensive. If you buy a villa, it's gonna be the second least expensive. And if you buy a single family home, that will be the most expensive of those three initiation fees. You only pay at one time, and then when you sell the home, the new buyer will pay one as well. Between entry fees and transaction fees and penalty fees, I'm actually... So let's get into schools and education. Murata is located in Pasco County, Florida. You'll have access to public, private and charter schools. It's also a school of choice. So if you wanna move your kid to another school, you can do that. Just be aware that you will have to register them early the year before, probably like December, January at the latest. There may be wait lists. These are things you need to be aware of when you're looking at moving your child to a different school outside of your specific location. The public schools from Murata are San Antonio Elementary, Pasco Middle School, and Pasco High School. The public schools do offer advanced placement and IB classes for advanced students. The two private school options that are really noteworthy here are Innovation Prep Academy. This is a brand new state-of-the-art K through eight tuition-free charter school. The school follows the WISH model, which stands for Student Wellness, Innovative Experience, and Programmatic Focus on Science and Health. And then you've got the Kirkland Ranch Academy of Innovation. This is a high school that offers 10 different types of programs. They've got programs like automotive, biomedical, science, cybersecurity, engineering, and way more. This place is unbelievable. Yeah, this place is unbelievable. Yeah. Let's talk about another subject that comes up quite frequently, and that's the cost of living. The overall cost of living here in Pasco County is actually relatively low, and the median household income here is some of the highest in the state. Florida has no state income tax, there's no estate tax, and there's no inheritance tax here either. Sales tax here in Pasco County is 7.2%, and the average property tax paid last year was 1%. Now you can't talk about Florida without talking about the weather, and here in Pasco County, we get about 244 days of sunshine a year. We also get zero inches of snow, in case you were wondering. We get about 52 inches of rain a year, and our rainy season is typically from July through September, although this year we didn't get hardly any rain in July. You will get a few chilly nights that late January, early February, where temperatures can dip down into the high 30s, but they bounce back into the mid 50s during the day. You also will typically not ever see temperatures over 100 degrees. That's very uncommon as well. And the bottom line is you can count on seeing the sun almost every single day. It's Florida, everything's warm. All right, so let's get into some of the pros and cons of living here in Murata. The pros are you've got a beach in your backyard. We've got amazing weather year round no state income tax, no inheritance tax, no estate tax, highly rated schools, amazing air quality, the median income is high, abundant sunshine, and low poverty rate. And the cons for me would be the fees that come along with the community, but in all fairness, I think it's really fair for what you pay. We're a hurricane risk here. We live in the Gulf Coast. There's just no doubt about it. Even though you're an hour away, that's still a reality. It's just not nearly as much as living on the coast specifically. It is hot and humid during the summer. And the last one for me is there's no actual real beach. You gotta drive an hour and a half to get to the beach. So if that matters to you, that's something to take into consideration for sure. And I just wanna share my overall thoughts about living here in Murata and this incredible Lagoon community. I mean, it is absolutely stunning, y'all. If you're someone who can appreciate all the amenities that a community like Murata has to offer and loves being surrounded with everything new, this is a no-brainer for you, honestly. Being able to say that you have a beach in your backyard, that's hard not to love. And if you're someone who is considering making a move to Murata or you just have more questions about living in the greater Tampa Bay area, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of my contact information is listed down below. I would love to be your Tampa realtor of choice. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.